let's do this. Let's rewind this six years ago. When I was a kid, the only game that we were glued onto was Gran Turismo. But my favorite car in that game was the Evo 8. I just always knew that that was a dream car. That was a car that we had to get. When we come to a certain age, it was just that time where we had to buy the real thing. Eventually, we found an Evo 8 FQ300 for sale in Inverness, Scotland. So we thought, you know what? We're not going to waste time. We booked one-way tickets to Inverness, Scotland to see this Evo 8 FQ300. Bear in mind, it's a one-way ticket and we just had this mindset that we were going to buy that Evo and drive it all the way back home and so we took a chance at life. Just let you guys know, I'm actually not a big fan of these planes. I actually fall sick so hopefully I don't fall sick. Let's do this. I'm as soon as the plane landed, we met up at Inverness car park. The Evo wasn't how it was described. There was rust, there was lights on the dashboard and it felt so weird and rushed. We wasn't too happy but he instantly dropped the price. There was many red flags. We test drove the car and it boosted by that gave me the peace of mind. If we do buy it, at least we know that we can drive the car home. Most of the money is the heart of the Evo, which is the 4G63 engine, and that was working fine. So in the end, I just blindly just took the deal. We stayed the night in Inverness, Scotland, and the next morning, I'm just gonna drop the clips now where we just done POV drives. the best experiences we've ever had and i'd recommend anybody to go there so we made it back home safely and for the first few weeks of owning the evo we gave it a service we got the engine compression tested and the engine was running a bit rough but mechanically it was all good the evo's rear disc was seized so we had to get new brand new brake discs and pads transmission was a bit stiff chain transmission fluid it didn't make much of a difference but the previous owner of the evo even glued metal pieces from a coke can just to stop oil leaks at the bottom of the engine the car was in a very bad state even the week after that the oil cooler pipes blew out and so we had oil leaks all over the place so we had to get braided lines at this point the evo ran well for a while it wasn't perfect but then after due to life circumstances we had to park it up and of course the evo just needed a whole restoration in order for it to be back to tip-top condition four years later so we finally got the evo back in the hq this is a 2004 mitsubishi lancer evolution 8 fq300 obviously from japan from import they call it the mr evos and i think these are the first evos that came in the uk then it had the HKS work onto it, HKS tune, and they called it the FQ. Um, I don't know why they call it 300 because the power it produces is 305 brake horsepower. I should have called it FQ 305. Um, I believe there's eight owners, so there's so many people that have had this car up in Scotland. My biggest recommendation, never buy a car from Scotland. They'll have a lot of rust. So anyway, that's one of my biggest mistakes, but we've got an L. Let's see if we could turn that L into a W. It's time to get this Evo back on the road. Firstly, does the Evo even start up? Let's give it a try. Oh, the battery is dead. I guess we're gonna have to get a new battery for the car. So the 
issue that we got in the Evo is basically the gear lever doesn't even go into gear. So when you're in first, you don't even know what gear you're in. You could be in first gear or third gear uh, or fifth gear. So we had this problem when we bought it from Scotland. It just got worse. This is basically the center, right? You put second gear, let go. So it stays right there. It should go right here, like this. In fifth gear, let go. It stays there. It should go right here. Like that when you put first gear to point to second or third it's so easy to make a mistake and that's good it might blow the gearbox up before we had this car parked for a few years and a lot of people said oh you need a new gearbox but if the car is driving you put the first second gear and there's no grinding sounds or and it still pulls it can't be the transmission it's got to either be the gear lever module or the gear linkage itself so i went on ebay and i brought the gear lever modules it's come here let's see if we can replace that see if it fixes the issue to the module right so this is from ebay for 40 quid you can actually see the difference in this it actually turns backwards and forward look <laughs> we got the gear lever out This one's working fine. Maybe it is the gear linkage. It's not going back in. It's, it's stiff as anything. Obviously, we said it's a gear linkage, but I watched some videos on YouTube and somebody actually said you can actually spray some grease or WD-40 on the bushes and that will fix the problem. So just before we order it, let's give it a try. It'll only take a few seconds. I love rusty bolts. Bit of rust to be honest, not too bad in there, just a bit of surface rust. So you can see it's pretty jammed at the bottom of the bushes. So we're gonna spray some W40 and see if that works. And hopefully that should do the job. There's a lot of items in the evil that we need to take out, so we'll do that right now. One thing I forgot to mention is how dirty this car is. So obviously it's gonna take a quick clip how dirty this Evo is. Let's go see what's in the boot of the Evo after many years. Wow. Wow. Well, that could do with another build. ABS sensors for the Evo. Nice. Um, rebuilding caliping kit for the Evo. Whoops. We got a sad situation. The mice that lived in the Evo see all the mess in here there's a hole right here pretty sure that's where they got in that's where there's a home let's hope there's no mice in here hello you can see they've got in through here yeah there we go the mice have ripped through the interior how unlucky is that any surprises get ready one two three okay now that's looking pretty clean that is considering how the top looks like Look, for those of you that don't know what AYC pump is it's called active yawn control so basically when the car loses control it will send all the power to its wheel to fix the car back straight again looking underneath the Evo it looks like it's been it's been under sealed like eight times uh, its lifetime it looks so thick it's grimy to do a mini resto job I believe that we, we should take off all the under seal sand it all down even sandblast if you have to and then re-spray the whole underbody to make it look all clean and clear because we never know but uh, if we leave it the way it is and underseal it again like how everybody else has done it might just get worse. rust lying underneath the underseal that we need to treat before it spreads all over the car we need to save this evo apart from that the control arms the fuel tank even the seals don't look too good but we need to further inspect this so hopefully in the next video what we're going to do is take off all the rust on the strut tops of the engine we take the rust all around the arches and really tackle all the rust issues to find out if this car is even savable we can restore it does the car need to go to scrap because we honestly at this present moment of time we don't know 
and so we're going to find out in the next video and then take the necessary approach so stay tuned thank you very much for watching really appreciate everybody that shows support in this video and this is the first video and a series of the evo 8 so if you're new to this channel feel free to subscribe like the video and share it with anybody that owns evo so they can share knowledge it can help me out so much and again thank you very much for watching may the almighty bless each and every one of you peace